In, in terms, I suppose, of the, the expect your, your own expectations moving forward then, because obviously, you know, the iPhone 15, everyone's talking about this refresh cycle. You could potentially point to a number of the uh, telecom firms over there in the United States, if we're just talking about that specifically, perhaps, you know, with the, the nature in which they, they sell through these phones, signing people up to plans. Do you think that's at risk as well? Because that would be, you, you ask almost any analyst that is bullish on Apple and they're like, don't worry, this refresh cycle is, is going to be huge. The iPhone 15 is going to be huge. Should we be bullish on Apple to that effect? That's another great question. I think it goes back to those interest rates and the the problem that even Tesla, you mentioned Tesla, that Tesla has been very clear on in their earnings reports is that, um, you know, the prices are effectively much higher than they've ever been, whether it's a Tesla or whether it's an iPhone, because when people go to finance, they're paying more for that device. Uh, so therefore, I'm not as convinced as some of the analysts that this refresh, this, this refresh cycle is going to be as successful. And again, it goes back to the fact that more than ever before, many of these div devices are being bought with financing, which was not the case in the past. And uh, they're becoming effectively more expensive than the sticker price, because when people go to finance, they're obviously paying high interest rates. And this has been Tesla's uh, conversation over the past few earnings calls, which is that they have to lower prices because from a consumer standpoint, those vehicles are now more expensive because when they go to finance, uh, obviously the interest rates are raising those prices, those payments for people. And so those are very intricately linked. And I think that as excited as I am, as a tech analyst, been doing this well over a decade, love product. I live and breathe product. But I also want to be really clear that the Fed is brutal to tech companies, especially those that can be consumer facing. And so we have both things that we have to balance, which are these exciting product releases, but a Fed that has not been, uh, you know, too transparent about if they're going to indeed raise rates more in the future.